Today's Brains and Beakers is on how to make your own speakers, and these are the explainers. They're from the Exploratorium. So what do you guys know about like speakers? Sound. Magnets. Magnets. Copper wire. Copper wire. What we start off with is our magnets. Everybody know what two magnets do when they put them together? Mm -hmm. Connect and repel. In a speaker, there's already two magnets, but there's two different types of magnets. So you have your electromagnet, which is the copper wire with electricity put through it, and you have your permanent magnet, which is represented by this. And your electromagnet would be represented by this right here, your coil wire. What's happening inside of there that's giving it its bounce is a thing called alternating current. So you have two types of current. You have your alternating current, you have directional current. When music plays through it, you're creating that alternating current. So when she plays it. So now we have ourselves an electromagnet right now. You guys see it? You guys notice the, the cold? Mary, do you feel something right now? Nope. All right. Well. So if I take this, you feel that? Yes. All right, so anybody know what's happening there? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But what is it pushing? So, compared to this and this, which one pushes air more? All right, so on the speaker, what they need is called a cone. And what it does is, like you guys said, it pushes a lot more air than a coil would by itself. Or a flat piece of paper. So when it's pushing air, it's pushing, it's actually pushing air, which pushes this, 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 pushing atoms all the way to your ear, to where it vibrates your diaphragm in your ear, vibrates your eardrum so you actually can hear it. So it's gonna connect it to this. So it's actually transferring that air, the pushing of air all the way onto this giant diaph to this giant cone. Or at least I'm making it into a cone. You guys hear it? That's pretty cool. And that pushing of air is where you get speakers from. Today at Brands and Beakers, I learned from the explainers from the Exploratorium how to make your own speakers. You only need a few materials, um, something resembling styrofoam, a coil, some alligator bites. What I got from this was that you don't need to have the regular equipment to make your own speaker, just things you can buy from your local hardware store.